Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Hanging with the Spear. We're going to focus on figurative language today. We're specifically going to focus on similes and metaphors. While we didn't get to this at all this year, so this will be brand spanking new information, the good news is it's not super complex and you use similes and metaphors all the time. You probably just didn't know that's what they were called. So first of all, why would we use similes and metaphors? Well, when we use any type of figurative language in writing, it helps our writing. It makes our stories more vivid. It makes our readers want to read our stories. It just makes your writing great. So that's why we use figurative language. So let's go ahead and talk about what a simile and a metaphor are. First of all, the reason why I put them together is because both similes and metaphors compare things. Okay, They just go about it different ways. A simile compares two things using the words like or as. If the words like or as are not in your sentence that you're using, you are not using a simile. A simile always has to use the words like or as when comparing two things. Okay, I'll give you some examples for both of these in a minute, but I at least want to go over the definitions of each of them. Then you have the metaphors. Metaphors also compare two things. However, they do not use the words like or as. And oftentimes, it's not a literal meaning. It's not something that's really happening. It's an exaggeration, a hyperbole of sorts. So that being said, let's go over some examples first. Let's start with similes, okay? I'm going to give you some similes, and we're going to talk about why they're similes. So let's see. I love this one. The little girl was as cute as a kitten. We're comparing the little girl to a kitten using the word as. Since we use that word as, comparing those two things, that makes it a simile. Um, the airplane, like paper airplane, the paper airplane was as light as a feather. I'm comparing the paper airplane to a feather and I use the word as, so that's going to be um, a simile. Let's do something, let's do a like, oh, oh, oh. The, See, the brother and sister fought like cats and dogs. We're comparing the brother and sister to cats and dogs using the word like. Since like is in it, it makes it a simile. Um, the night was as black as coal. I'm comparing the night to coal using the word as, which makes it a simile. Anytime you compare two things, Using the words like or as, you have a simile. Those are some examples of similes. Um, let's go ahead and move on to metaphors. The metaphors, they're a little more fun. I do like metaphors quite a bit. You don't see them as much in writing, but as you do similes, you see similes all the time. But writing with metaphors is also really fun. Um, let's do, all right. Miss Spears' classroom was a zoo. Now, was my classroom really a zoo? No, I'm comparing my classroom to a zoo, meaning it was like crazy or something, which it really wasn't. However, you're comparing a classroom to a zoo, okay? And that's more of an exaggeration. The classroom was not really a zoo. You're comparing it, not using the words like or as. Another one, I like when they use words like these. The alligator's teeth are white daggers. Now, we're comparing alligator's teeth to white daggers. Yes, they're really sharp. That's what it's implying. It's implying that the alligator's teeth are very sharp. However, the alligator does not have a bunch of white daggers taped inside of its mouth, okay? We're comparing the alligator's teeth to white daggers. So we compared something not using the words like or as, okay? Um, my daughter Chloe is a big old bowl of sunshine. I'm comparing my daughter Chloe to the sunshine. Is she literally a bowl full of the sun? No, that's an exaggeration. She's just amazing. I love her so much. I'm comparing her to the sun, not using the words like or as. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Those best friends are two peas in a pod, okay? Are the best friends, like let's say myself and my friend Andrea, are we really two little peas in a pod? No, we are not literally two peas in the pod. It just means we're really good friends. So we're comparing our friendship to two peas in the pod, meaning we're super tight. Okay. So that's really, those are some good examples of similes and metaphors. Really just know, okay, 
sim their figurative language, similes and metaphors are figurative language. Similes compare two things using the words like or as. I want you to really, really try to listen for similes. I've listened to, I, I look for it sometimes when I'm actually quite a bit, I do stuff like that, maybe so I'm a teacher. When I'm watching TV and stuff, I listen for different things. I've been reading quite a bit, and so, I don't know if my book's here or not. Uh, I think it's still in the bedroom. I've been reading quite a bit. I look for similes and metaphors while I'm reading. I want to challenge you to do the same thing. I want you to listen to your family to see if you can find some similes when they say it, okay? And it'd be really cool if you've been like, oh, that's a simile, and explain the why behind it. Metaphors, listen for those um, in movies and um, YouTube videos. I know you guys probably follow a lot of YouTube peeps, not just me, like lots of actually professional peeps, and um, in reading that you're doing. So look for some similes and metaphors. So quick recap. Simile compares two things using the words like or as, okay? Metaphors compares two things not using the words like or as, and typically not a literal thing that's happening, not really happening in exaggeration. All right, well, I told you that was going to be short and sweet. That's all there is when it comes to similes and metaphors. I hope that helped a lot. I miss you and love you guys very much.